One problem with these tick marks over here is we have to specify them manually. So we are specifying, for example, for the X that it can only have these values and for the Y it can only have these values. But what if our X values here change and the Y y values change here for the plot so if we look over here at our graph and what you can see is we can see the value of six over here and if we go down here you can see the maximum value is three so six over there three over here and you can see the minimum is one and four for the y the reason is because we specified four here and we specified one here for the x one so what if our date changes so what if we only have values that at the minute it's fine it goes up to one two three and four five six for the y value and you can see here the six over here is actually reflected here six over there so that is fine but what if we add another value here and we say it goes up to 20 so the y values go up to 20 and we can say that the x values go up to 9 over here what would you think will happen to our graph over here if we specified our tick marks here manually what will happen here and what will happen over here so if i run this over here you can see what has happened is the values here have been collapsed or squished over here and the same thing has happened here and suddenly we have this whole section which is empty and the whole section here which is empty so that's to be mindful of that if you specify x ticks and y ticks manually then you will get a graph that looks very strange so it looks like this and you can see the both axes not behaving correctly so you must be careful when using x ticks and y ticks here and manually setting them because you may get an undesired outcome